What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to root any Android device for the year 2015. Now to do this, all you're going to need is your computer, a USB cable, and the Android device itself. It's a really fast and easy way you can root your Android device in minutes and unlock all the features of having a rooted device. So before we do anything on the computer, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and go into the settings app on your Android device, go to about phone, and then scroll to the bottom and click on the build number 7 times. Once you do this, go back into the settings app and then click on developer options and make sure you have USB debugging enabled. Now what you want to do is go ahead and go to kingoapp.com on your computer and then download the one-click root software. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to have something called androidroot.exe. So what you want to do is go ahead and run the program. Click yes. And just go through the wizard and have it installed. So I'm just going to click next, have that downloaded. Yep and then have a desktop I got created and then click install and it should install. Alright, so now that the install has been complete, I'm just going to click on finish and Kingo Root is going to launch. Now what you want to do is go ahead and plug your Android device into your computer, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and make sure that you have USB debugging mode enabled onto your device. So as you can see my Nexus 4 has just been plugged in and I'm going to click on agree and wait for it to load up as it's connecting to my device right now. Now, since my device has already been rooted, I can't root it again, but what's gonna happen is you're gonna be greeted with the following screen, which is going to show your device name as well as the button that says root. So once you read everything over, go ahead and click the root button. Now make sure that your device is plugged in and on throughout the root process, which will take anywhere from five to 10 minutes. Once the device has finished rooting, it'll show up with the finish screen, and all you wanna do is go ahead and press finish. Congratulations, your device has now been rooted. The final thing you want to do is go back into the Google Play Store and download the apps Super SU and Root Checker. Once they finish downloading, open up Root Checker to make sure that you follow the steps correctly and your device has actually been rooted. If it says that your device has been successfully rooted, then you're done. That's all you have to do to root your Android device. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned a thing or two from it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. But that's about it for this video, guys. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out.